in here, I guess. I had a pallet. <laughs> I told the guy like eight pallets. But yeah, I am barely, barely gonna make it. Gonna have at least five minutes left to run in there and check in. Hey, at least they gave me chocolate though. They did give me chocolate. Hey guys, hopefully everybody's doing good. Right now, I am in Heronsburg, Pennsylvania. Dang, somebody got pulled over. That sucks. But yeah, so I am here in Pennsylvania. I just left the Mechanicsburg Terminal. Had to get my AC looked at because it wasn't running properly. It wouldn't blow cold air. And like, this is a new truck. So, I don't know. They said they fixed it. It could have been low on like Freon or something, probably, most likely. But yeah, so I'm picking up this trailer because I'm bobtailed right now at a Freightliner dealership or I guess probably a repair shop. And I get, most likely another driver must have broke down and had to get towed to the Freightliner since the truck probably had a warranty on it. But he probably had a trailer on him as well. So I'm probably gonna go recover that trailer and take it all the way to Wisconsin. See. Wait a minute. East. Frickin' roads here, the streets, just I just can get a little confusing because there's like so many signs taking it so many different directions. All right, I am coming off the exit right now. I've been over there before. For Swift. <laughs> I'm like the road warrior. I've pretty much been everywhere. It's wild. I probably, it's gonna be, it's already been two years I've been trucking, which is crazy, time flies. And I probably got about 200,000 miles commercial vehicle miles on under me, which is crazy as well. Let's see, but yeah. Sango straight. So it should be to the left over here. Uh, um, yeah, so this load needs to be <clears throat> delivered by tomorrow at 12, about 728 miles. So I'm gonna roll today, maybe do, a, I don't know, 300 miles and then do the rest tomorrow. Most likely, uh, I'm gonna plan it out to where I can get up early at two, three in the morning tomorrow so I can roll with it. And I don't have to deal with any traffic as well. All right. Um, supposed to be in here, I guess. I don't know. I see uh, Creed uh, trucks. All right, I gotta figure out where I am going to pick up this trailer because I do not see it. Let's see. They gave me another address, so I'm wondering maybe it's there, because I doubt that the trailer is in there. No way a trailer would fit in there. <laughs> Alright, let me figure this out. 
right guys, I think I found it. They have a different uh, lot over here at their body shop for trailers. That place is just tractors. You can't really fit a trailer in there or park one. But um, yeah, I saw a sign, I saw the address. I'm like, oh, it's probably over there. It has to be over there. I tell, did tell dispatch, I'm like, hey, do you guys um, screenshot me the GPS? like the map of uh, the trailer's GPS so I can see where it's at. It's probably right over there, most likely. That's probably it right there. She, of course, a solid line. All right, well, let me uh, hook up to this trailer. It's right there and uh, get rolling, guys. She's a beaut. That's a nice RV next to it. I did a load right before this one that you guys are watching and I was in Scranton, Pennsylvania. What a pain in the butt. Got there super late, barely any hours. Typical type of trucker life. Ended up parking in the street next to the shipper because there's really no parking and I didn't really have enough hours. Yeah, barely had any hours left. But yeah, so they unloaded me early morning, leave there and here is the end result. As usual, I get screwed again. Now I have to figure out what to do with these pallets in the back. But at least they gave me some chocolate to make up for it, so might as well get screwed with some lube. This sucks. Fuck my life. This is a lot of pallets. I told the guy like eight pallets. So I made a little TikTok of the situation as you just saw. And if you want to follow me on TikTok, here is my user right there. But yeah, so the people left their pallets there and I had no clue what to do with it. I was calling around, um, was able to find one pallet place, but they weren't even answering their phone. So I don't know. I ended up going to a Petro not too far from there. And I was just asking around. I even told my uh, asset manager and he's like, he's like, you're supposed to tell us or ask the shipper or receiver why they left the pallets in the truck. And I'm like, you guys never told me this. I didn't know this is a rule or a policy, but whatever. So I just went around, like I said, went around Petro, just asking around. And I was able to find one guy who he got them. He collected them, but I told him there's like eight, and there's like 18. There's a lot of. That was like a crap load of pallets in that truck. That was the most pallets I've ever pulled out of there. Man, thank God I'm young, but I feel bad if it was like if I was like 60 years old, eh, probably wouldn't work out. Um, but out of that day, at least they gave me chocolate though. They did give me chocolate. Which, I guess that was a benefit. And they were like the chocolate and uh, peanut butter chocolates. Like a Reese's. Like a generic form of Reese's. But they were really good. So, yeah. And then I ended up going to, into the Petro. Ate some food. Went to go use the toilet. And suddenly, the power just turns off. And I'm in the toilet. And I can't see anything. So it was pretty bad. Uh, yeah, so I just got out of there and just left the Petro and went to go pick up my Lex load, which leads into this one. All right, guys, I am here in Wisconsin where I got to make this delivery. It should be this left up here. I don't know if it's this one or the next one, but at least there's a load right here that I could stop after I complete this load. But yeah, I am barely barely gonna make it gonna have at least five minutes left to run in there and check in so i cannot miss this turn cannot miss this turn come on come on there's one of these up here i think i hope yeah No, well, it's not really a freaking left turn, but okay. I think they repaint the road, make a left turn right there. Pretty much like in the middle of the road. 
All right. I think it's that facility right there with the red line on it. Yeah. Frickin' roll in there and rush. Rush. Because, yeah, this was close. I thought I was going to miss it, to be honest with you. So I am surprised I am here five minutes before my appointment. Let's see. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Um, U.S. packaging one way. Should be... Is this it? I don't know if that's it. Yes, it is. Okay, one way. Get this mother crapper in there and get her checked in. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's turn around. Where is the office? The receiving office is what I need. Let's see. There's a door eight. Continue to door eight receive. Wait, wait continue. Continue on tw door 29. Uh, door 29. Door 29. Is it door 29? Door 29. No, wait. That's not it. That's not it. Door 29, I said. Come on. I need to find this door. Uh, let's see. All right, guys, let me check in. There's a lot of action going on. Hey, guys. So I am waiting for them to come and break my seal. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, action going on over here. This guy's just moving somewhere else because there's barely any space over here. But yeah, hopefully they uh, get me to a door here. My appointment was at 12, but they must be uh, backed up or a little slow, sadly. Hopefully it's not slow. Hopefully they don't love me pretty fast, but we'll see. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, please subscribe and like my content and also watch my most popular and most recent videos. Um, some of them are pretty good, so. Other than that, take it easy and see you guys next time. Bye.